This is the United States of America, home to over 330 million people, with a land area of 3,796,000 square miles. It is the fourth largest country in the world. Yet, it is only the 145th most densely populated country, with around 87 people per square mile. But this is just a single number. When we look at a map of population density, we see things vary considerably depending on location. The major population centres jump out at us. New York, with a population of 8.3 million, has a density of over 28,000 people per square mile. Los Angeles, with a population of 4.0 million, has a density of over 8,000 people per square mile. And Chicago, with a population of 2.7 million, has a density of over 12,000 people per square mile. And what about the state level? Let's take a look at the top five most densely populated states. At number one is New Jersey, with a population density of over 1,200 per square mile. The top five is rounded out by Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Maryland. Unsurprisingly, the least densely populated state is Alaska. It has a land area of 1,717,000 square miles, making it 2.2 times the size of Texas. I've reduced its size by a factor of three to fit it onto this map. With a population of less than 1 million, there is less than one person per square mile. The bottom five is completed by Wyoming, Montana, North Dakota, and South Dakota. There is a lot of information contained in this map. To help make sense of it all, we can summarize the data with a single data point, the center of population. This is defined by the US Census Bureau as the point at which an imaginary, weightless, rigid, and flat surface representation of the 50 states would balance if weights of identical size were placed on it so that each weight represents the location of one person. The US Census is carried out every 10 years, with the first taking place in 1790. We can use this data to visualize how the center of population has moved over time. 1790. Starting near Baltimore, the location moves to the west. This reflects the settling of the frontier, waves of migration, and migration to the west and south. 1860. The center moved a huge 80 miles westward in just 10 years. The US acquired California, New Mexico, and Oregon country in the Pacific Northwest. 1870. The center moves north following the Civil War. The northeast and midwest see substantial growth. 1920. The center barely moved during this period, with the east seeing high rates of growth between 1890 and 1920. In 2000, the center of population moved over 1,000 miles from its starting point 210 years ago. And in 2010, the center moves in a more southerly direction, pulled by strong population growth in the southeast, Georgia, Florida, and the Carolinas, as well as growth in Texas. Almost 80% of the overall southerly movement happened between 1950 and 2000. Will this continue? Will climate change have an impact? Where do you think the central population will move in the future?